Hi, my name is Ryan Cook, and I'm with Lost Car Care Products. I'm just going to show you real quickly how to make a fuel expedient uh, stinger tube. So, there's a couple different things we need to do right away. Come on in closer, bud. And one of them is uh, how to get a DEMA tip into a hydrominer tip. And there's a couple reasons we'd want to do this. And the easiest way to do that is to simply bore it out. Uh, you just get an 8 30 seconds uh, tap kit. You bore out the tip. Uh, you take one of the larger ones like a black or gray bore it out with the drill bit that comes with the tap kit and then simply use the tap screw it in clockwise and that will thread this and then you're simply able to screw in the DEMA tip so at that point we can do a couple things with this so if you're out in the field and uh, you want to continue using DEMA tips or you need to go further than the hydrominer tips uh, like you want to use an ultralene you can and you're in a hydrominer system you can tap that put in the DEMA tip and then simply continue to use the hydrominer. This would screw into the adductor and uh, you can simply just run like that and you hook up your line and you're ready to roll. So that would give you the ability to stretch out, let's say, the hydrominer tips and go go into the ultralanes. Um, now let's say if you, you're in a, anything, a hydrominer, or you're in an injection system like a, like a DEMA injector or a hydroflex injector, and uh, we're at a copper tip and you're still not getting the dilution ratio you want, you're still pulling too much soap. Well, one of the things I started doing is I started creating these stinger tubes. And this is simply quarter inch uh, outside diameter, 0 0.170 inch inside diameter tubing. You can buy this right at Home Depot. I cut it 18 inches long. I would tip, I would uh, use again a gray or black hydrominer push in tip. I would tap it and then put in the tip, the last tip I was using on the hydrominer. So if it was a tan, let's say it was a tan, you were pulling six mils and you wanted to go to three mils. This will typically reduce whatever setting you have by about half. So let's say we were on this copper tip and we were pulling three mils, but we really wanted to pull one and a half. Well, then we just simply put a, slide this into this 18 inch stinger. And then the way I connect this stinger to the system is because obviously it's too big, it won't, or too small, it won't go on to the, it won't go right onto the injection point or the hydrominer. What I do is I simply cut about a four inch section off the tubing the quarter inch tubing going into the deal, going into whatever the, uh, the system is. I would slide that on, so it kind of like a little, a little lead line there. You want the tip on the, down, on the downstream side of it, as far down as you can get. And on the inlet side, you want to push the side that doesn't have the tip. So you're going to push that in. You want to get a couple inches in if you can. And that actually creates a good airtight seal. On the other side, then the, the line coming from the chemical drum, you simply bring that up and you do the same thing. You slide it about two inches on. So once you get that once you get that connected on, you simply uh, you know, obviously this is going to the drum, it's hooked up, this is hooked up to the system, and uh, you just start pulling it. And uh, it should work great for you, and again it reduces whatever you the last setting you had on there, it'll reduce it by about half. So not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, in a pinch it's a great way to, to get a finer dilution ratio.